Last week, NASCAR had their annual awards ceremony, during which they honored 2004 Cup Series champion Kurt Busch, who announced his retirement from the NASCAR Cup Series earlier this year. During his 23-year career, Bush won 34 Cup Series races, the Cup Series championship in 2004, and the Daytona 500 in 2017. To try to give some backstory to this, if you're not a NASCAR fan, Kurt had a head injury during a qualifying run at Pocono last year in 2022, and ever since, he's worked really hard trying to get trying to condition himself to get himself back in shape so he can get behind the wheel of his race car, but he hasn't been cleared medically. His doctors advised against it, so earlier this year, he announced his retirement from full-time Cup Series racing. So he was forced to retire. He doesn't feel like he's ready to do that yet. He feels like he's still able to be competitive out there. He was winning races when the accident happened last year in 2022. You can tell how much this all means to him, how badly, desperately he wants to still be out on track, that it, it's what he feels like he needs to be doing. He wants to be out there with his crew working together, uh, running these races, and his body just isn't allowing that to happen anymore. Every time you hear from him and every time he talks on the subject, you could tell how painful it is for him, how emotional he gets, and rightfully so. What bothers me the most about this entire thing is NASCAR's role in it. To start the 2022 season, NASCAR had announced that they were going to start using this next-gen car. Far and away different from what the Gen 6 was, the car that they had been using for about a decade up until that point. Now with this next-gen car, it was supposed to level the playing field. They did extensive testing with it. A lot of off-season between the 2021 season and 2022. Even before that, they were testing this car out. A lot of drivers they were bringing in to run these test sessions. And in those test sessions, one thing that kept coming up that the drivers kept talking about was that they weren't really sold on the safety of this car, that they had some reservations about it. But NASCAR, as per usual, believed in themselves and the product that they were putting together and putting out there, the design of this race car. So they forged ahead and launched the next-gen car at the start of the 2022 season with the Daytona 500. NASCAR played it off as growing pains, that they would learn together with this car, they would figure it out as they went along, and that there are just there are going to be some hiccups along the way. Well, yeah, there were a ton of hiccups. There were a bunch of driver injuries, head injuries, concussions in the 2022 season. It wasn't until the off season between 22 and 23 that they were able to modify the car where the 23 season, there really weren't any concussions or head injuries. So while they were able to fix, or at least they, it seems like they fixed the problems that plagued the 22 year, it's still, they forced this car out. They pushed it out there and so many drivers had to suffer because of it. Biggest name being Kurt Busch, a champion of the sport. His career gets ended because of it, because of one of these head injuries that so easily could have been avoided. There was talk about this before the year even started, that the car wasn't safe, but they went ahead anyway. And I just, I know there are so, all Kurt Busch fans I know are upset by this. There are plenty of other people in the industry that are upset about this, that he should still be able to compete, that all of these injuries that happened in 2022, they shouldn't have happened. NASCAR has never once said, you know what, maybe we screwed that up. Maybe we should have listened a little bit closer. They're never going to say anything like that, but it just, it makes this all so much worse. Watching how emotional he is over not being able to race anymore. I commend him on his strength and perseverance and still showing up at the races, supporting the team that he was driving for, 23XI, and being able to talk openly about what he's gone through, what he's dealing with. It's just an instance of NASCAR believing that they have all the answers, that they are 100% right and ignoring what the drivers are claiming. Yet again, it happens time 
and time again. It's just sad to see Kurt so upset and I hope that he's able to find peace at some point, somewhere down the line, he can, he can be at rest with what's gone on.